Hello Queens and Kings, my name is Tandega Shabangu. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. We are over 2,000 subscribers. We're growing. As I've always said, my, my, my job was to get to 1,000 subscribers. Whatever happens from here, it's in God's hands. Really, it, it, it's, it's in God's hands and he's doing a good job. <laughs> Okay, so today I'm going to speak a lot today because I'm very happy about the, today's tutorial. So today's tutorial is quite historic, if I can say so, because this is the first earring that we'll be doing on the channel. Yay! So this earring is quite interesting and quite close to my heart because this earring is the reason why why this channel even started from the beginning so you know what happened <laughs> so this is this is what happened so last year i was starting my beaded earring business and i had two sources where i would go to I would go on pinterest and i would go on youtube so i'd go on pinterest to look for inspiration and see pictures and sometimes there would be tutorials, maybe there would be pictures, maybe step one, step two, this is how you go about. And then I'll go, I'll see the picture and then I'll go on YouTube to find the tutorial. So, you know, in business, you always want to catch up with the times. You always want to have something different. You always want to learn new things. So... A, a beautiful sister, a beautiful friend of mine, Usisti, sent me a picture and she was like, Tandega, look at these earrings. Will you be able to do them for me? And then I say, Sisti, I can't. I've, I've seen these earrings and I've been wanting to do them, even myself, but I, I can't do them. And then she was like, take your time. I trust you. Take your time. I know you'll get it. Okay, fine. I go on pinterest to look for pictures because usually uh there are some patterns whereby i can be able to make them just from looking at the picture but i was also quite nervous because i've also even myself i have been wanting to learn this pattern hi i go on pinterest i download pictures <laughs> of the earrings and then i try attempting them i try attempting them i try attempting it took me two weeks every day i couldn't sleep i would go on youtube because i would find tutorials usually like it's on youtube i go on youtube youtube there is no tutorial that's when it hit me that where who is teaching our 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 beats who's doing our beats <laughs> you know because there will be there will be patterns if you go for if you look at brazilian beaded patterns there are tutorials if you look at american beaded patterns there are tutorials tutorials on tutorials um the two channels that were so close to me they still are beadaholic and off to the beaded path those two channels i love them i love them <laughs> okay so so that's when it hit me that no one is who's teaching our South African traditional beats. That's when I, re, I, I I took it upon myself and I was like, you know what, then I'll be the one. But I won't lie, there were tutorials, there still are. There were probably about five or three videos, if I'm not too mistaken. So problem number two that I ran into for this, there is a material for this pattern it's um it's a ring it's a pl it's a plastic ring that is flat that you build on it so please if you're a queen or queen king or queen that you know what it's called and where we can find it please help us in the comment section because please help us it's still a mystery to me so this is what i did when i was practicing in my two weeks i cut out the lid of a yogurt container 
and then i shaped it to the pattern that i want so this is the material it's flat it's round yeah it's like a ring so this i couldn't send this pillar this was for me to practice and then i decided let me be innovative so i got bangles these are kids bangles so i took them and i scraped off the painting and then i ended up with this silver ring so this is what you can also do and please if you know what it is please help us thank you so much so let's get started this tutorial I hope is going to be in three parts part one part two part three <laughs> so let's get started i'm done talking let's get started <laughs> all right so this is my ring that i took from the baby bangles so it, the packet was 10 rand so it's 10 pieces inside and the diameter of this one is 5.5 centimeters so we're going to need black and gold beads the size of the beads are 15 knot sized beads you need the smallest beads as you can ever have so only we will be using two colors we're going to be using black and gold i feel like the only important thing for this tutorial is just to show you the strategy these earrings they do come in different colors and you can just be creative once you have learned the strategy then you're good to go i have my needle today i'm using cotton cotton i'm not using upholstery thread because i need something that will be enough upholstery thread is quite thicker so it's quite pointless using small beads using upholstery thread because they won't go through so i'm using a double thread i take i'll make a knot I'm going to make two knots I'm going to make two knots so here i've made my two knots so i'm going to build on from the inside finish it and then we do the outside that's how i prefer to go so now we're going to start off from the first line when you look at this pattern it has steps to it you have the first step the second step and the third step so now the first step we're going to be using six beads for each line so we're making lines and each line will be made up of six beads so you're going to pick up six black beads and then you're going to pick up another six beads but the first bead is going to be your gold bead and then the remaining five beads are going to be your black beads so you're going to have six black beads one gold and five black beads so you take them you push them to the end ne? and then i take my needle i insert it like this because i have to sort of like hang so when i do this i have to make sure that I separate my six six beads ne? so I separate them nicely and then I insert my needle into the six beads the six beads that had one that had one gold and five black beads like this and then I pull so as you're pulling you should observe what happens here your thread makes a nice loop and you see so because we're doing the flowery thing now you're going to pick up and now so now you're not going to do double lines this was for the starting so as you're going to continue you're going to just pick up your six 
beads individually. So now, remember I had one gold and five black beads. So now you're going to increase your number. You're going to add two gold beads and four. <laughs> four black beads. How about we met? So here I have my two gold beads and four black beads. In total, there are six beads. I push them to the end. Push them to the end like this. Ooh, sorry, my hand is making a shadow, which is then making you guys to not see. Okay? You do what you've been doing. You take your needle. So the, the aim is for the thread to sort of hold on to this ring like this. See? Thread like this. And fix the lighting. Yes, like this. And then what do you do? You insert your needle into the six beads that you just added. Like this. <laughs> and then you pull. Make sure the knots like this. Ta da! So now you're going to increase the number of your gold and decrease the number of your black. So remember, at the end, your line has to have your line of beads. They have to have six beads in total. Like it. So now you're going to have three gold beads and three black beads. Here's my three gold beads and my three black beads. You push them to the end like we have been doing. Take my needle, push them to, to the end. Then I insert my needle inside the ring. Because I want my thread to hang. This, and then I take my needle, I insert it into the beads, the three black and the three gold, into the six beads that we just added, like this. And it, and then you move up. Okay. So as you pull, you just make sure that everything is in place. So now, we pick up our six beads again. How do we do it? So now we're going to have four gold beads and two black beads. So here's my four gold beads and my two black beads. I've seen this two color tradition trend. Your black and white, your black and gold, your blue and yellow. So you're going to insert your needle into your ring like this. I go. <laughs> Make sure that everything is in place like this. So as you're doing this, this is a way of making your flower. This is one petal of your flower. Insert, and then you pull. Make sure it's placed nicely and it's nice and neat. So now we increase the number of gold and you decrease the number of black. So now we're going to pick up five gold and one black bead. Five gold and one black bead. You push your six beads to the end. And then you insert your needle. You can even go this way. This way, like this, and insert your needle from the inside. 
but I prefer to move like this. You know, when you have a preference of how you move, for me, like when I'm doing belts, I prefer moving from my right to my left. Then insert your needle into the six beads. Into the six beads like this and then you pull. So here we are once we've pulled. So now you're going to pick up six gold beads. Six gold beads. You push your gold beads to the end. I've already picked them up. And then what you do, you insert your needle like this. And then you push like this. <laughs> and then you pull. Then you insert your beads into those six gold beads. Like this. So now, this is half of a petal. We were doing this petal, so we've done half of it. Now we're going to do the other half of the petal. So this is how we go about. Now, you're going, we're going to be moving backwards. So now, we're going to pick up five gold beads and one black bead. We are doing the same thing that we've been doing here. But now we are moving backwards. So five gold beads and one black bead. So here's our five gold beads and one black bead. Insert your needle and the thread into the ring. We keep pulling up. <laughs> we keep pulling up. And then insert your needle into the line that you just picked up. And here it is. So now you're going to pick up four gold beads and two black beads. So I have four gold beads and two black beads. Do what we have been doing. Push your beads to the end. And then you insert your needle inside your ring. Remember to guide the six beads that you just inserted, that you just picked up. And then from here, you insert your needle into your six beads. You have one more bead. A short eye. One more bead short. And then... Okay, so now we keep decreasing our gold and increasing our black. So now we're going to pick up three gold and three black beads. Three gold and three black beads. Do what we have been doing. Push the six beads to the end like this. And then I insert my needle inside my ring please if there's a queen or king that knows where we can find these plastic rings i don't know why but something tells me that they they probably found a hardware <laughs> i don't know but some something is, is telling me Guti, i can find this at a hardware but imagine, imagine the, the, the weird faces I will get when I go to a, a hardware store and I'm, I'm with an earring and I'm like, please, Bob, I'm sending that in. Please help me find, do you guys carry this ring? <laughs> I can imagine the stare I will get. But it's fine. So now we're going to pick up two gold beads and four black beads. So there's our two gold beads and four black beads. Oh, gold. Gold is just giving us a hard time. It's giving my camera a hard time. 
and my camera is in. I don't want anything that gives my camera a hard time. Gold doesn't want to be seen. <laughs> yes. Insert our needle into the six beads. So here it is. So now we're going to pick up one gold and five black beads. So this is how you make a petal. Because in most patterns you have three petals. The one, the earring I made for Usus D had three petals. But the ideal one that I've seen on in pictures has five petals. I hope I'll explain the petal concept more. <laughs> okay. So once you are done with one petal, the one gold and five black, now you're going to pick up six black beads. Like how we started here. We remember we have a six black beads. So we're also going to have six black beads. Then we have six black beads. We do how we usually do. The strategy is the same. Then insert your needle into the six beads. Wait, oh, excuse, I didn't see that I'm not doing it on camera. And then we pull. So this is one petal. Like here. So this is one petal and this is how you make a petal. You start increasing the number of your gold and then when you get to the center, you change. You decrease the number of gold and increase the number of black. So this is where we stop for this part one. So here are my petals. Dun, dun, dun. So what you would like to do, maybe you can... Because when I finished it, there was this, like a gap like this. So you can move everything around to make it nice and even. Yeah. And then, remember that the first black six beads, you're going to insert your needle down like this to tie it. To, to tie everything together like this. Let's see if I can couple it here and come back here. So everything is tied nicely and you can make a knot. If my thread was enough, I was just going to, I won't need to change my thread. So this is how we finish the first part of our earring and then the next video we'll be doing the insides <laughs> we'll be doing the insides and hopefully the outside part and and insert our hook our earring hook and then we're done thank you so much for watching queens and kings i love you guys so so much Remember to love yourself. Remember to respect yourself. Remember to honor yourself and have fun. If you love the content that you're seeing, please consider subscribing. See you on the next video. Bye.